Hey guys, Hattie the Creator here, creating something new to share with you. Today we're doing this character my son designed and drawing him up in a few different styles. I have my amazing group of friends, the Cheese Wizards, to join me on this video. We're each going to draw him up in our own styles, pull him in several different directions just like a Stretch Armstrong toy. Now stretching fun farther than ever before! He bends! He Stop, evildoers! Please stick around to the end to see all of the different versions of this character. I love doing these, my sons love watching them, so let's jump into it and start doing some concepts. So how I like to do these is to draw a few different concepts up and take them to my son, the art director, as it is his character design after all, and let him choose which one he likes and which direction to go. So far I have never had them say they didn't like any of them or have them change them too much. I'm still waiting for the day that my son says, hey these all suck, do this. Or try again dad. One of these days it just might happen. So I'm just trying to be really loose and fluid with these designs, kind of do something that's a little bit different in each one, take them a little bit different direction, and just have fun with it. Do my best to just give him a few different options to choose from and see if I pique his interest and get the direction that he was thinking when he originally drew the character up. Like for this last one, I imagined this shape on his head to be a mouth instead of a visor, which I was doing for all of the other drawings. So here I am with four different options. The first one is kind of really similar to his his initial drawing and number one and number three are pretty much the same except for number three kind of has some more comic booky proportions big old muscular legs and arms and then number two is kind of like a ninja the things on his head are kind of looking chicken like and number four is a big jolly fatso creature instead of a guy with like a motorcycle helmet looking thing my favorite is number one I think I kind of like to keep the proportions similar to what they did in their original drawing I think it makes a cool looking character but I don't get a choose so in the morning I'll grab my son before he runs off to school and see which one he chooses. So my son chose number two which is kind of like the ninja-ish looking character. I thought that was fine because I think his pose is a little bit stronger. It's a little bit more dynamic. The other guys poses were just kind of basic standing there flexing with their magical powers in their hand. And So I'm gonna take number two and bring him up bigger and draw him out. I don't love how these loopy things on his helmet are looking kind of like a chicken. So I'm going to erase those and redraw them kind of as if they are spikes like on the back of a dinosaur. An herbivore, so they're not sharp and intimidating. They're rounded and cool looking. So that looks a little bit better I think and I am going to keep polishing this guy up and doing some line art on him. We are with my finished drawing. He's kind of looking like a Mega Man villain or something. I don't know what villain he would be. Probably like a prehistoric dinosaur type character. And the saw blade, how does that incorporate in? I don't know. But he turned out pretty cool. He's kind of a fun drawing. Fun little unique pose. Kind of looks anime style. And I had a lot of fun drawing him. But now let's jump over and see how the different members of the Cheese Wizards have envisioned this guy and drew him up.
This first contribution is by It Broke, and I really like how they took it and kind of accentuated those little green things that were kind of dripping down and made it look like moss. And they kind of turned him into an eerie creature in some sort of basement. I really like the lighting that they did on this. It really turned out to be a fun painting and a cool character with an interesting story. I do feel like this piece tells a story. It makes you wonder what's going on or how this creature got down there why he's living in the shadows. Maybe he gets hurt out in the sunlight or likes to avoid it. It's just interesting. You could totally write a story based off this one picture. This next one was drawn up by the member Rev. He's done one of these before in another Cheese Wizards collaboration. I really like how much personality and whimsicalness he could put into his drawings. He really comes up with some fun and clever and unique characters. So I think this one is no exception. I think he does a really good job on this guy. He kind of brings some life to my son's drawings. And he turns him into a really fun cartoon style character that I feel like could have his own sitcom on Cartoon Network. I just think this guy turned out super cute and a lot of fun. This one is done by Robbie Rattrap. I love watching his process to see how he continually makes adjustments to his drawing as he goes, fixes proportions, pushes shoulders out further apart, angles his head, his arms. It's really neat how he just jumps in and goes for it and makes his adjustments as he goes without sketching. And his artwork speaks for itself. I really love his style and his finished drawing is just incredible. I love this guy's work. He's also done one of these redrawing my son's arts before with another Cheese Wizards video and I just always love seeing his contributions. His stuff is incredible. This next one is by Magradas and they were not able to record the whole process. I just got a couple clips from it and it's really interesting to see the program that she's using reacts as if it was real watercolor and when you when you touch paint into the canvas it looks like it kind of bleeds a little bit and that's really cool. I've never seen a program do that. Magradas' piece is really fun and unique. It looks like he's flying and its hand is kind of an organic weapon like a Venus flytrap, kind of the counterpart to the opposite saw blade on the other hand. Really cool piece. This next one is by Indigo Square, and she has a very, very clean and calculated art style. It is very cool and symmetrical. She loves working with shapes, and she loves organization. I was running a collaboration once, and I had a few things off send her, and she let me know about it. She has an eye for detail, and this piece turns out really cool. She didn't have a video to submit, but just grabbed a bunch of screenshots as she was working, so I was able to lace those all together and pretend like it's a video, but you don't actually see the drawing process, just kind of a progression throughout it. And her end piece is awesome. A great contribution. Now these next few were not able to do screen recordings of their progress and process through their drawings, whether it be hardware limitations or time constraints. So I'm just going to show their finished pieces. On the left we have a very fun piece by Doodle Squad. It's kind of a fun frog-like character. He brings a smile to my face. Even though he's got a saw blade for a hand, I'd still give him a hug. And on the right here we have a awesome chicken ninja by Sir Sir Sitten. He looks like he's bursting out of an egg and he's ready 
ready to kick some booty. Both awesome pieces. Very cool and unique takes on this character. And here are all eight versions of this character that we all drew up from my son's original down there in the bottom left hand corner. I think this is a new record. So nine different versions of the same character. It's always fun to see how different we turn out and they are all very cool. You can tell that they are all based off of the same drawing and it's just so awesome to see how many different ideas people have from this one drawing and how they interpret it. These are always a lot of fun to do. I just love the different versions and the different artist styles. I love collaborating with different creatives. It's like a computer. You put input to a computer and you always get the same output every single time. It's just designed that way. But you take an artist and you give them some input and every single different version that comes out is always unique and always different. It's kind of interesting how each artist is like a sponge. We gather inspiration from different artists and different things that we see. Movies, books, TV shows, comics, other artists. We're really the master thieves. We take little bits here and there and turn them into our own unique styles and that's just how it works. There's no shame in it. So long as you aren't just copying and passing it off as your own, that's a no-no. You do that and you stink. Thank you so much Cheese Wizards for joining me in this collaboration. There's some links down below in the description from the different Cheese Wizards Instagrams and other accounts if you want to check them out and see more of their artwork. They are pretty fantastic. Also next month, we the creators, the Discord group that I started, will also be doing one of these, redrawing one of my son's drawings. You are welcome to join that if you like and showcase your artwork in the video. All you have to do is join the Discord, we the creators, link is down in the description, and I'd be happy to show your version of my son's design in that video. This is Hattie the Creator signing out, and I will catch you on the next video. Hey, hey you, psst, you, yeah, yeah you, guess what, you are a creator, just thought you might need a little reminder, so uh, why don't you create something?